Hi guys, so today I thought we could, um, I wanted to make some sweet potato chips but I'm sure you're wondering why I've got a chicken here. Um, but this is a large bird that I have, I don't know if you can see it very very well. Um, and I've just taken the back out because it's really really large and it's such a big chicken. Um, and I think when you do that it cooks faster. Okay, well this is going to be our meat to our sweet potato sweet potato chips um, and I'm onto this new thing with sweet potatoes where I'm really really loving them you know I once heard that you can't eat chips and have abs I really want to get abs so sweet potato chips are apparently the only chips you can eat and have abs now don't quote me on that because I'm not a doctor but so far I actually think it's true it's so much better I can't um, I can't explain it and I can't sort of articulate it very well, but eat it and you'll just feel different. Um, and so over here are our sweet potatoes. I got these in um, Tesco and they're so big that I didn't think it was any point buying more than two. So I got this two in Tesco and I have these two smaller ones at home. Um, so I'm just gonna grab these. Look how large that is. My goodness, like it's huge. Look, Lord have mercy. Okay, so I'm just gonna peel it and show you what it looks like. Okay, we'll get going. And then also, see I'm just making this as I go along. This is how I cook. Like I think this is how normal people cook. This is how mums, you know, that taught, my mum that taught me how to cook cooks. She just sort of thinks, oh, what should we have? And let's have this. So this is gonna be, this is some kale, which is something that I'm feeling at the moment. And basically what we've done is this is just, frozen kale and I uh, defrosted it with some hot water and just let it you know sort of wilt a little it's still gonna have its crunch it's still gonna oh it's so much better so the light was off it's still gonna have its crunch and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort of have this in a nice garlicky tomatoey type sauce and you know and it's just such a nice vegetable it's so um strong you know this just it has so much, you know, strength to it. I'm not sure I'm using the right word again, but you know, you catch my drift. Um, so we're gonna, I'm gonna make this into some sort of vegetable tomato-y thing with a little bit of courgette and garlic and stuff like that. Hi guys, so I peeled it with a knife. I tried to use a uh, peeler, a potato peeler, but it wasn't, didn't quite work. So I used a knife. And I just cut the ends off and peeled it, and that's all. And this is what it looks like. And I chopped them up into tiny little, um, tiny little chip shapes, <laughs> long strips. And um, I've tried to place it on sort of a nice, on, on, on a big pan. This is the biggest I've got. But the essential thing is that you place each one lying down and that they don't sort of overlap with one another. Now, if you can get a pan that's bigger than this, that's so much better than sort of, you know, crowding it. Because I still think this is quite crowded. Um, as spaced out as you can get it, maybe we chuck some in here, in there. Um, as spaced out as you can get it, that's the best. And sweet potato chips will never crispen. They'll never crispen like potato chips will. Um, they flop. So... But still, they're very, very tasty. You'll never sort of get them to stand tall. You know, they'll just sort of like flop sideways and, I mean, which is fine. I've got my courgette and onion and garlic sort of cooking down. And I've just spiced it with this sort of vegetable stock cube. You can see, this is what it looks like. It's a, a gnaw stock cube. Yeah. Um, and so what I'm going to do now is just tip some tomato into it. So this is some chopped tomato. You could use a plum tomato. The only difference is that's not chopped. So I'm just going to let this cook for a little bit. I might add a little water into it. Cook away. I'll just let it cook for like, I don't know, seven to eight minutes. We'll see how I feel. We can stop at six minutes. Who knows? This is all about feeling and not nothing about instruction. So, 
There we are. And after this cooks for about seven or eight minutes, <laughs> maybe even ten, um, I am going to then add the kale. I'm just whacking up the... Hi guys, so this is the finished product. You can see the kale. This is a really hearty plate. You can see the kale with the courgette and the tomatoes and the onions and the garlic. And this is the chicken. It's very, very crispy. Can you hear that? Look at that. And these are my sweet potato chips. This is what I said about that they flop. So, yeah. And um, I'm just gonna go off and scoff now and see y'all later.